In today's video, I want to show you how to install CapCut on a PC or laptop for free. So if you want to install a free software to easily edit your videos, I will show you how to do that. CapCut is now available for Windows computer. You don't have to install an Android emulator like you used to do. They released the desktop version now. Right before starting, I would like to say that you would make my day if you can subscribe and leave a like. Thanks in advance. Let's begin. First of all, you will need to go to the search bar at the bottom left of the screen and search for the Microsoft Store. Once the Microsoft Store loads, go to the top and search for CapCut. Just click it and you will get redirected to the installation page. As you can see, CapCut has an average of almost 5 stars in more than 1,000 ratings. To install it, just click the Install button and wait. As you can see, it's only 500 megabytes, so it won't take a lot of time, depending on your internet speed. Meanwhile, we can see some of CapCut features right here. For example, they have keyframe animation, auto captions, which are pretty useful for short form content like TikTok and similar, multi track editing, and much more. A lot of people is using CapCut now since it's the best free editing software at the moment. In my case, I personally use Adobe Premiere Pro, but I can understand it's too expensive. I downloaded CapCut anyways because I wanted to give it a try. Now the installation is completed. This shortcut will appear in your desktop. I will open it. When you execute it for the first time, this environment testing window will appear, which will check if your computer can run CapCut. In my case, my computer can run it smoothly, so I will just click the Confirm button. And here you can see more features, like the auto captions we've seen before, remove filler words, and much more. I recommend you to check that before using it. Right here, you could sign in to buy the Pro subscription, since there is some content that is locked in the free version. When we open the editor for the first time, a quick tutorial will show up. In my case, I don't need it, so I will skip it. And that's it. You can now edit your videos for free with CapCut. As you can see, the interface is pretty user-friendly. If this tutorial was helpful, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.